today is the second day that we keep up to our morning run so let's hope that we can continue this so the drone sequence that you saw at the start of this footage is actually filmed separately i wanted to fly my drone while i was running but i have a problem with the dji mavic air so let me explain <laughs> Now before we talk about the problem, you first have to understand why I bought the DJI Mavic Air 2. For starters, the DJI Mavic Air 2 is really a lot better than the old DJI Mavic Air Pro which I have. It has better image quality and video quality and it also has active tracking 3.0 and allows me to select a certain subject and follow that subject and it also can rotate around that subject. Thirdly, the remote control is also a lot better designed. I think, in my opinion, it can hold on and it has better grip onto the mobile phone than the old DJI Mavic Pro. And lastly, it also has a more compact build with smaller batteries and I can literally put everything into a small bag and just carry it around. It's really a lot more portable, but I have a problem with it. You see, I bought the DJI Mavic Air 2 with the purpose of wanting the drone to follow me while I'm exercising. And this in particular is because I had an upcoming snowboarding trip and I was hoping that the drone would be able to follow me while I snowboard and I thought that would be really cool. And before I bought the Mavic Air 2, I actually did a little bit of research and there were a lot of videos that spoke very well of the active tracking. There's even the Lichi app that costs 20 USD which allows the Mavic Air 2 to track using the GPS signal that is coming from the remote control. So I thought, wow, this drone would be great, you know, I've done a lot of sport and it would be so cool if the drone can follow me while I'm working out or exercising or running or even snowboarding. So it did well when I was testing it on a small run but the problem really came when I went to snowboarding. So the first problem was that the tracking system had problems following the user. I tested it out on my friend while he was snowboarding and you can see from the drone that there was a growing distance between the snowboarder and the drone itself. <laughs> So the next thing is that when you're snowboarding, you're actually going side to side. However, the drone doesn't follow you exactly from side to side and it will actually just stay on its spot. So another thing to take note is that when you're snowboarding, you're actually decreasing in terms of altitude, but the drone doesn't actually follow you as you decrease in altitude. It will actually just stay um, at the same height. So on another occasion, I actually tried to use the drone to follow our car. However, the drone wasn't fast enough and it couldn't keep up to the speed of the car and we really had to slow down the car in order for the drone to keep up. There were a few points that the drone actually lost track of the car as well. Next thing to note is that the Lichi app also wasn't particularly useful mainly because when you're up in the mountains you actually lose signal and the GPS signal is not as accurate and if I were to use the Lichi app then the drone will literally just fly away to where the GPS was pointing it to. So overall the drone is still a great drone and I have no regrets getting it. It still provides me excellent image and excellent footages. But an important thing to take note is that this drone is not really used for sports. If you are buying it in the hopes of using it while you're exercising, mainly running or snowboarding or biking, I would really advise against it. You firstly would not be able to concentrate on the sport that you are doing and secondly you will constantly need to monitor the drone and to make sure that it doesn't go out of sight or goes missing or it doesn't crash into anything. But if you are using the drone to film other people or you are just in a stationary spot, then this drone is more practical for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. This is a short review video, so do let me know if you like it. If you have any other comments, do leave them in the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.